On day six, we're painting a muse that has some really interesting light and dark shadowing in bars across her face. And when I saw this portrait, I was mystified as to how I was going to begin to accomplish that look. And sometimes I find that it's best to just dive right in and start putting something down on paper. I often do that. Sometimes I like to map things out first, but sometimes I dive right in. So after a quick sketch, I dove right into beginning to apply color. And I just decided to look at darks, lights, and colors and not worry so much about how I was painting her face as much as how I was going to apply these values of color and shadow and light to her face. And I think in the end, the approach was really successful. It's one that's been suggested a number of times in sketchy challenges in different ways. And isn't it funny that sometimes something is suggested and it catches hold the first time and sometimes you need to hear it a few times. So I think I am going to be using this method of looking at shapes and tones and darks and lights as opposed to looking at this is a nose and this is an eye. Give it a try if you haven't tried it yet and I think you'll find that you enjoy it as much as I do. This particular piece really came together as I applied the background. It had originally been proposed on a white background and I loved the idea of showing where the color came from that influenced the colors on her face. And I don't very often do detailed backgrounds and so this is more of a kind of a graphic look and it's kind of one I prefer for portraits. Overall, I am quite pleased with this portrait and I uh, hope you enjoyed watching me paint it. Stop back again soon for another time-lapse video and don't forget to like and subscribe.